Hey guys, what is up? This is Supergirl Cal. So I am not in town. We usually do these things in my bedroom, but as you can see, we're not in my bedroom. We are at PAX East 2019. Uh, I am super excited to be here. I'm representing Nintendo as a pro commentator for the Super Smash Bros. Ultimate Open Invitational Tournament. Well, those who won the online tournament, basically. So uh, at the end of every season, I told you guys that I would be taking this challenge to see if that I can do it. Uh, if I can do like 20 questions that you guys ask me. Priority questions that I take are from my website and I take questions from all over my social media. Uh, I try to answer 20 questions as fast as possible. We didn't time it last time. So last time was kind of like a tryout, but this time I'm gonna time myself of how fast I'm going. Mommy, where is your phone? All right, I got the phone. So this is going to be our timer to time how long I can take to answer all your questions. One more thing before we do forget, uh, I do have merch now. So please visit my website, www.supergirlkelsgk.com. Hit on merch. I have customized merch that I have done with Teespring. They have been incredible from t-shirts to hoodies. Everything is there. If you're not just a Supergirl Kels fan, but a gamer who just wants to wear some of their representation as being a gamer, go check it out. I'm sure you'll find something you love. So before we do start, like I said, I take priority questions on my website. If you don't see your question on here and you've sent me a question, it either has been already answered or I just couldn't answer it because, you know, everybody else asked first. I can only pick 20, so it's a little bit hard. But if you do wanna ask a question for next season, I'll be answering 20 questions and we'll be trying to beat our time again in summer. So that'll be in June. If you wanna leave a question, leave it in the comments below and I'll be sure to see it. So are we ready? Okay, shout outs to my mom, Mama Del, by the way, she's filming, so shout outs to her. <laughs> shout outs to her. All right, we're gonna get started in exactly three, two, one. Oh, wait, no, I have to film this. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Okay. Okay, <laughs> three, two, one, start. All right, have you ever fought an inkling and bracket? If you do, how would you go about facing one? Inkling and bracket, uh, definitely want to stay spacious, out of range, try and always have in the back of your mind that he's gonna put out roller. We'll approach with bear and fair. Fair is not safe, bear is safe. So just keep that in mind. All right, question two. Um, when you get when you get nervous, what do you do to calm yourself during a set? I like to think of it as just a friendly game that I'm here to learn and take notes. I try to remember and picture myself in front of a TV, just practicing the way that I do. I also try to talk to myself. I'll literally be like, let's take it easy. Hey, this is hitting me. Let's try not get hit with this move. You know, that kind of thing. Hi Kelsey, it's Marco Metal Doctor from Twitch. What is up my man? What music do you listen to? I love about every single type of music except for metal. I'm really into R&B right now. Uh, I like pop dance music. Uh, I'm, I'm into a lot of things, so, but R&B is really what I'm listening to right now. I know you have said you have uh, been working on your fitness. I'm about to start my own journey. Do you have any tips, any routines to follow, any results? It depends what kind of fitness you want to do. If you're looking for just losing weight on the belly or anything like that, cardio is what you're going to want to do. I love just being at the gym, going on the elliptical or just, you know, running or whatever. Um, definitely try to like do those push-ups, do those squats, stuff like that for your legs. That definitely gets you going. Uh, try to manage when you're doing arms, when you're doing legs. Eggs. Don't like mix it up. You, like, do always have one day for one of those things. But every day, try to do some cardio. Uh, and any results? Yeah, I mean, uh, I've definitely been seeing some results in terms of my strength and energy. So uh, it, it does happen. And uh, you, you might start gaining weight in the beginning just because you're gaining muscle, but then you actually start losing. That all depends on your diet. So food and going to the gym, managing that, balancing it is really what makes the difference. Who are some of your role models in life? My biggest role model is Sonic the Hedgehog. I grew up with him. He's always got that positive attitude, so I've always looked up to him. I looked up to Hilary Duff. I grew up with Lizzie McGuire. She's always been someone that makes me believe in myself. Uh, Miley Cyrus and I are just long lost twins. We're actually related in some other universe. Every time she puts out an album, it's things that I'm going through in my life. And uh, you might laugh, but I'm a big Justin Bieber fan. Definitely his movies is what introduced me to him and like he inspired me a lot to just go for my goals. What is one song that you can listen to and never be bored of? Ooh, uh, definitely the whole album of Can't Be Tamed by Miley Cyrus. I can't even pick one song. 
and uh, Justin Bieber's Journals album. Is there any changes or extra modes you want added into Super Smash Brothers Ultimate? I want Target Smash back. I want All Star mode back, like the original All Star mode. Um, I want Home Run Contest back. Board the platforms is what I miss. So those were there. Uh, first off, where do you think Ice Climbers are placed at? Low, high tier? I think they're mid tier. Uh, they definitely are like Kirby where they're very, very slow so I have a hard time approaching. But they do have better range due to their specials. So they can get in. I feel like their meta is just very, very weak right now and, and new. People have to relearn this character because it's a brand new character in some ways. But I feel like people are figuring him out and I feel like he's going to kind of start low and then go higher as time goes on. What games are you excited for in the spring? I mean, Yoshi's Crafted World just came out, so I'm trying to finish Kirby's Extra Epic Yarn and Sonic Adventure 100% before I buy my copy and do that. And then we have Team Sonic Racing that releases the day after my birthday, May 21st. So I'm very, very looking forward to that as my spring games. What is, what's your all-time favorite Nintendo console and why? The Nintendo GameCube is what I grew up with. Uh, definitely Luigi's Mansion, Mario Sunshine, Super Smash Bros. Millie, all those games, and Sonic Adventure 2. I was really, really became a gamer within that era, so. How do you start streaming? I'm just starting up now along with content creation. I want to step in the right direction. I mean, first you have to just ask yourself, what do you want to stream? Why do you want to stream? You know what I mean? Once you figure that out, I feel like that will just hit you. Uh, you gotta have your right equipment, your right softwares, your microphone. Once you're set up with that, you should just be good to go. Try to make a, like a consistent schedule of when you're going to be streaming so that your fans and followers can know when you're streaming, how you're streaming, what you're streaming, and they'll, they'll, they can kind of prepare for what's coming and be there for you. Why are you so awesome? Well, that's not a question. You're awesome too. If you had to collab with any YouTuber that you haven't collabed with, no matter how big or small, who do you choose? P.S. I love you. Keep being awesome. I love you too. Um, so I would definitely love to collab with Twip right now. I love his content. It's been exploding not only just as a Sonic tuber, but just everything. He's been talking about a lot of media news lately. So I really love him. And uh, Procrastinator Sam, I'm looking at you. I love your content as well, your reactions, your discussions, everything. I would love to have just like a, an hour conversation about Sonic. Hey Kels, hope you're having a great day. My question is, is if you, if Sonic, Kirby, and Isabel didn't exist, who would you main in Super Smash Brothers? Uh, Pikachu, Link, and Pokemon Trainer. I feel like that would be probably what I'd be using. Or Villager, Villager as well. Bill I love Villager, yes. Uh, how are you able to record such high quality videos? Shout outs to my camera, I'm using the iPhone 8. It records in 4K and uh, 1080p, 60 frames per second. So it does really, really well. And as for my game stuff, shout out to Elgato Game Capture. It films really, really great. XSplit also films in 4K. So uh, it's honestly just the softwares I have. How did you join the Smash community? It all started back in 2008 where I joined allisworld.com. At first, my name was Kale Smith, which was just my first and last name put together. In 2010, I released a music video called Can't Be Tames, and it was where I took textures from Smash Brothers and created them with music videos about an artist, which created Supergirl Kills. I found online tournaments on Orders Brawl and then eventually found an advertisement for Apex 2012. That's where I went to my first tournament, Apex, and I looked at the stage and I said, I'm gonna be there someday. Now look at me. What's a video game genre that you have never touched or even once that you would think you'd be interested in trying out? Uh, probably RPGs or role, like role playing games. Um, those kind of games I've never been into. Waiting to take your turn, leveling up, grinding out. I just want to get from beginning to A, point A to point B. I want to go fast, man. That's why I play Sonic games. I just can't get into RPGs. I've tried for so long. I think pe like Pokemon is the only RPG I've ever, ever, ever finished. When will you be live? Visit my website www.supergirlkels slash twitch if you want to know when I'm live and what I'm going to be doing while I'm live. 
I've been struggling so much with down B recently. The attack gets through the enemy dealing just three or less hits. Some suggestions. Try to practice uh, how long you're charging uh, spin charge for. So the more you charge it, the more damage it actually does. Don't also hold right when you're hitting the opponent. Let go of the right butt to the analog and you'll actually drill into the opponent. It feels so good like you're ripping their guts out. Are you planning to go to CEO? And if you are, will you be doing a vlog? I am going to CEO, and yes, there will be a vlog if you're going. Please come say hi to me and join the vlog. Finally, last question. Does Sonic still act second with Spring Ride? Yes, he does. So uh, Sonic has an animation when he does up B. His opponents just jump on the spring, so it's a simple jump animation, so they can just kind of do whatever. It's all based on a read. Eight minutes and 45 seconds. All right, that, that's, not, that's not bad, that's not bad. So that's our first time, eight minutes. We're gonna keep that in mind and try to beat this at some Point. Okay, so guys, that was the 20 questions challenge. So we have to keep that in mind. We're gonna try and beat this in June. If you have a question, leave it in the comments below. And if you wanna be priority, make sure I see that question. Visit my website, www.supergirlcalssgk.com. You can click on like a forum where you can just send me a question in the Tamers community section and I'll be sure to see it and keep it for next time. But we are gonna get out of here. Be sure you check out the website. There's also my streaming schedule, YouTube schedule, music, news, uh, also my merchandise. My merchandise is there, guys. We created it with Teespring. It's some great fashionable stuff if you're not only just an HGK fan, but a, a gamer who just wants to have some gaming merch. Go check it out. I'm sure you'll enjoy some hoodies, tights, uh, t-shirts, and more there. We're gonna get out of here. Thanks again, guys. I love you so much. Have a great rest of your week. I'll see you next week. And I'm gonna go and get ready because I got something to do with PAX. Catch you guys later. See ya. Bye-bye.